Hi everybody, this is a short video on a new product uh, called the Little Fwend Automatic Tone Arm Lifter. Uh, this is a device that is designed to uh, lift the tone arm of a fully manual uh, turntable at the end of each uh, side of playing an LP. Um, what normally happens at, uh, late at night is you'll be spinning records and uh, you get uh, halfway through a side and uh, you'll find yourself falling asleep and the next thing you know two hours have passed and you wake up and the uh, tone arm is running around in the run out groove. Um, not great for your stylus, adding a lot of uh, unnecessary wear um, to one of the most expensive consumable parts of an audio system. So this device uh, kind of is, uh, I, I viewed it as cheap insurance to um, uh, get the needle off the record as soon as it's finished playing. So if I'm uh, in the other room, uh, or if, uh, if I've fallen asleep, or uh, otherwise uh, been distracted doing something else, and uh, the, the record is over, that the, the stylus comes off the table. So um, first thing, the, the device uh, comes from overseas. I believe it, it was made in uh, Norway. Uh, they have a limited, appear to have a limited distribution network uh, so far. Everything's direct to the company. And um, these just came out this past week. They started shipping them. And um, it comes in a kind of an interesting little uh, box. Uh, this this uh, wood uh, device is inside the box. And the unit is safely mounted in a wooden hole. Um, and... Uh, so it's, it's mounted, it's very rigid, and uh, kind of like a phono cartridge. And the reason for that is because the device itself, which is right here, uh, you may notice that th there's a, um, a little arm here. This arm is uh, extremely fragile. It's uh, kind, of a, a, kind of a stiff wire that they've used that um, the tone arm run into, runs into and uh, sets off the device. Um, so it needs to be treated with care. It needed to be shipped carefully. I think that's why they, they put this box together. But um, it works quite well. Once you've set it up uh, in using the instructions in the package, you kind of want to put it somewhere um, between the, the edge of the platter and uh, where, the, where the, uh, the, the tone arm is mounted so that it's not that, you know, right under the, the end of the tone arm. Uh, you want it to have a little bit of leverage, um, and you know you don't want the thing to be snapping up. Um, so I'll show you how it activates. It's a very gentle operation. Just brushing this, you'll notice that it, it went up. You can see it went up ever so slightly. And uh, to reset it, you just simply press it back down. So it's a very simple operation. I'll show you how it works in practice now. So here we are at the end of uh, Miles Davis, kind of blue. You can see that the needle is close to the end of the record. You can see the distance between the tone arm and the trigger lever is getting closer and closer. Um, this is designed so that the device can be rotated. It's, it's mounted with a magnet. Uh, there's a disc, metal disc that's put onto the plinth of the turntable, and then the unit itself just simply mounts to the metallic uh, disc uh, with a magnet. So it can be rotated in place, and the wand and the little tone arm lift uh, also are rotatable individually. So you can adjust the lift angle and the, uh, where the lever engages. Uh, for your turntable. Uh, but once it's set, here it goes. And there's it up. So you can see it works very well, uh, kind of like a, uh, an old uh, automatic or semi-automatic turntable of the past. Uh, but it's very smooth. Uh, it does not jerk the, the, knee, the, uh, the tone arm up. Uh, this is a, a VPI 3D uh, lightweight tone arm. So uh, you know, if this had any kind of uh, um, 
strong force on it, it would, you know, it would shoot it up pretty hard. Uh, and you can see how gentle this is. It doesn't jar the, the tone arm at all. Um, now once it's in the up position, you simply uh, raise the, you know, raise the lift, move the cartridge back to its spot, uh, and, uh, and you're all done. And then you just reset the lift for the next uh, record. Um, the thing you have to do, you do have to remember, is you have to reset that every time. Uh, because if you leave that in the up position and the uh, tone arm is uh, moving towards it, obviously it's going to hit the end of it, uh, which probably would not be a good thing. Uh, it probably just cause the, the tone arm to uh, stay in the groove it's in and bounce off it a little bit and probably be uh, do some damage to the record and possibly the stylus. So you definitely need to remember to do that. Um, that's about the only downside to it. Other than that, um, the manufacturer says that you can uh, set this for uh, different records, different size run-out grooves and so forth. I have played probably about uh, 30 records since uh, installing this and uh, it's worked perfectly on every record uh, regardless of uh, you know genre, uh, thickness, um, you know, you name it. It's, uh, I have not had to adjust it one bit. It's, uh, you know, perfectly lifted every time. So, um, so it's been a good investment. Uh, it is, uh, as these things go, these, this one is a, is a relatively pricey device. It's $200 for the unit, uh, plus shipping, which to the United States was around $25. So not a cheap solution. Um, you know, I guess it depends on the, the, you know, I guess you have to look at it in ref, in, uh, respective to the cost of your cartridge. Uh, I'm running a cadenza black on mine and, uh, you know, so extra wear and tear on that, um, you know, actually is costly. So I think this in the long run pays for itself. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary as they say. Um, there is a, a less expensive, uh, similar device out there, which you're probably aware of, called the Q Up. I have not uh, worked. I've not used that one personally. I've not tried to adapt it to my turntable. Although I understand it's a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more abrupt in how it lifts the tone arm. Uh, I think there's settings on it to to help that, but um, I'm not sure it's as elegant of a solution as this one. This one also, the nice thing about this is it is a metal. It's like an aluminum, uh, very nicely milled aluminum design. And, uh, you know, it kind of looks, uh, you know, in the same family as the, as the rest of the hardware on the turntable. So I kind of like that it matches the VPI uh, look and, uh, you know, doesn't look out of place uh, on the turntable. So. so that's my review of the uh, new Little Fwend tone arm lifting system. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. And uh, we'll see you next time.